Hey, it's uh, Dave here, uh, Disco Zombie from uh, State Street Cemetery. Hey, uh, I wanted to show you something new I've been playing around with. Um, first off, this is just a prop controller I've been working on. Uh, it's using Arduino Uno and a four relay shield and um, no motion sensor. You can actually hook audio up to this and have it play audio. I don't need it for this prop. Um, I'm using this really cool uh, GUI Arduino programmer called Octobanger. I'll, uh, I'll throw a link up for that here in a second. Um, the biggest problem I was running into is uh, these guys. You know, you're probably all familiar with them, right? These little cheap uh, $2 PRI sensors and uh, go off all the time, false positives, all sorts of things affected by the temperature, the weather, you know, basically the sun comes out, it goes off. Uh, I got sick of dealing with them, sick of my props running all night. I started to look for some options out there. Um, came across this guy. So this is a uh, microwave uh, motion sensor. Um, it emits a microwave. It's it's safe for people. Um, I picked this up off of Amazon and had it shipped to me. It cost me like twenty dollars. And um, one of the cool things is. Um, but one, it, it strictly picks up motion. It's not infrared reflective like these guys are, where it's actually bouncing a signal, picking up that bounce. This is just literally picking up motion. Um, the best part, it goes through walls. So with what I'm doing, this is going to be a prop controller for uh, a column peeper and to make my gates move. And I'm hoping is to put this inside my gate or inside my column and that way it goes through the column, picks up the people walking by, but doesn't expose any of this stuff to the elements. Um, it's not affected by light, it's not affected by temperature, it's strictly just motion sensor. Um, I've been really happy with it, playing with it. Um, initially I bought one of these, and the only thing I had picked up was the antenna part, which is a silver box here. Um, found out it only puts out I don't remember now if it's a sine or a cosine, but uh, the Arduino didn't know what to do with it. So you have to build an amplifier to turn that signal into an on-off or a 1-0 signal that the Arduino can understand. So I found this shield built all in, and it basically just sends an on-off. So it works just like these guys, except better. Um, it's got a range, according to the documentation, of 2 to 16 meters. So uh, I have it cranked up pretty good right now. I'm going to walk to the other side of the room. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me. But I'm going to walk, and you'll see that it keeps picking up my motion as I'm moving. <clears throat> All right, so I was about 15 feet away from it, and I even went to an angle of almost 90 degrees to this thing, or whatever, straight off to the side of it here, and it was still picking up my motion. So I'm really happy with it, and for the price, 20 bucks. Um, it's the cheapest kind of reliable sensor I found. Um, so thanks for looking. Uh, I'll throw up a link for the Octobanger. Um, if you're like playing with Arduinos and uh, you want to control it with sound and sync it all to the sound and everything, greatest program for that. I'll throw up a link for this guy too. Um, I assume it would work with you know Fright Props or anybody else's prop controllers. It literally just puts out an, an out signal, you know, on or off. So. Um, thanks for looking. If you got any questions, post them below. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, subscribe if you want to see some more of my videos.